Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on, I believe, what routes we take on is like a big rainy route, and then the sunlight came out for a couple of routes, or maybe just one. We took on, I believe, uh, routes 120 and 121, it looks like. Yeah, and we also, uh, we, uh, got a lot of training done, I guess. We ran into the Kecleon. We just basically did a lot of training with these two routes here. And now we're, I think we're still on Route 121, but um, I want to go back to the Safari Zone real quick. Or, I could go to Lily Cove City first, and then cut to the Safari Zone, because I've already showed the entrance and stuff. But my repel off, so I'm going to have to put another repel on. So, who do I have a friend again? I forget, actually. Okay, I have Fighter Friend, cool. So, uh, I think there's still one more trainer, maybe, I don't know. I don't have, I don't have way with me, so I can't get down this tree. It looks like there's an invisible item, probably, in that field of flowers or something. That's my guess. Oh, cool, there's a full heal, it's an invisible item, awesome, nice. I thought there might be a hidden item there. And that's, in other three spots that didn't have tall grass. Patches of tall grass. Are these nab nab berries? There, yeah, nab nab, or nun nab berries. Cool, we're gonna pick up six, it looks like, that's awesome. I don't think there's actually another trainer, actually. Maybe we battled the rest of the trainers on this route um, in the last part, which is pretty cool, actually. So, yeah. We have made it to Lily Cove City now. Awesome. I'm gonna heal up real quick. Do I have to put anything on my PC for item for item sake, I guess? Uh, no, excuse me. Oh, let's use the Carbo Raise the Speed Set at one Pokemon. Let's give that to... Let's give that to um, Smokey, because Smokey is really slow. So let's give it to Smokey, yeah. And we can sell the nugget too. Cool, and while we're here. So yeah, oh, and the fourth May Battle, and the final May Battle of uh, Ruby and Sapphire will be um here too. She's actually in front of the department store, which is just north of the Pokemon Center, really. But in Pokemon Emerald, I think you battle her five times, so you battle an extra time where you can see her, her um, final evolution Pokemon, either be Subtile, Swampert, or Basikin. But for Ruby and Sapphire, we don't get that. It's, I think her... Combuskin, Marsh Stomper, Govire will be at level 35, so that's kind of, that kind of stinks, because we can't even see it for a Pokedex, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna heal up real quick, so yeah, be right back. Okay, with that done, I guess we can take on May right now. Uh, she probably, she probably start, she has four Pokemon this time, and she'll start off with a Swallow. And because it's a new Pokemon, she has a Swallow in my case. Uh, she always has a Swallow, actually. She has a Combuskin, she has a Whalmer, and then she also have a, um, Nemo, I believe. No, uh, um, a Shroomish, I should say. Maybe it's a Burloom, I can't remember. But we'll see. Yeah. Um, let's put Metroid up front, I guess. Because Metroid knows, uh, Ice Beam at least. Yeah. Let's talk to May. Oh, hey, Steven. Are you shopping too? This is also an optional battle, too, by the way. Uh, I guess so. I'm going to shop, but you're blocking the entrance. <laughs> I bought a whole bunch of dolls and posters. Of course, I've caught a lot of Pokemon, and I'm raising them properly too. Actually, I'm more worried about if you're raising Pokemon properly, Stephen. Okay, I'll I'll battle with you so you can so you can uh, show me your Pokemon, Stephen. Yes, of course. The Pokemon I raised won't be beaten by your Pokemon, Stephen. We'll see about that, May. Okay, yeah, she has four Pokemon. Cool. Yeah, first she's not supposed to It's level 31. Nice. That's good for her. Let's go for the ice beam on this thing. It's gonna be super effective. And let's see here. One AK is that awesome. Nice. It's about to use Combuskin. Okay. I guess you why would you put Combuskin in that when you when you know Metroid is a water type, you know? Yeah, that swell was level 31 in female, this combust is level 34 in male, so it's not even level 35, jeez, okay. Cool. The combust goes down, Metroid's not level 35, awesome. Okay, well, let's go to, let's go to Gecko, or Geico, I mean, Geico. I've been saying this like name wrong, this whole project pretty much, this whole playthrough, but that's okay. I corrected myself at least. I'm pretty sure I tried my best to correct myself. Remember to correct myself. So when was level 32 in female? Cool. That's awesome. And let's see, Leafway takes it out. Awesome. So far we should one shot all our Pokemon. And then she has a Shroomish, okay. Um I'll stay with Geico, I guess. I want Geico to give you each level 36 as soon as possible because that's when it evolves. Let's go for the let's go for a quick attack. Oh man, effects board, dang it. 
Yeah, it's gonna, and quick attack won't be much, and I don't, I don't think, uh, pursuit will do much either. So let's actually switch out to smoky, I guess. Split the experience, I guess. That's okay, though. Okay, smoky takes the headbutt, and we just 5 HP, that's good. Let's go for the flamethrower. It's gonna use leech seed on us, but we, uh, smoky evaded the, uh, leech not smoky, but smoky evaded the attack. The flamethrower hits, awesome. If I didn't even mention this, the swimmer is level 32 and female. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. We defeated Pokemon Trainer May. Awesome. I remember the battle I had with you, Steven, on Route 103. 103. 103. 103. There we go. <laughs> that battle helped you become this strong, Steven. Didn't it? Yes, it did, actually. Thanks for the 240 po 2000 Pokedex. 2040 Pokedex, May. I really, like, appreciate it, you know? Yeah, I'm thinking of going back to Waterroot soon. I've caught a decent group of Pokemon and my Pokedex is coming along, so I'm going home to show my dad. Stephen, what are you going to do? Uh, collect all the gym badges and take the Pokemon League challenge? Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Well, 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 while you're collecting badges, Stephen, I, I'm going to work on your Pokedex. I'll come wait up before you. Uh, th I bet you will, actually, because I've only caught, like, maybe 12 Pokemon. Uh, let me check my Pokedex number after this on caught Pokemon. See you. She's also going to use her Swallow to use Fly. And there you go. She's flying back to order, I'm guessing, yeah. Let's go back to the Pokemon Center and heal, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's head to the department store. There's a TM I want to buy for, uh, for, um, Metroid, and it's one of its, one of its final movesets, uh, moves, I should say. It's gonna be Hyper Beam. So let me check how much Pokemon I caught. I've owned, I own 15 Pokemon, I've seen 195, wow, okay. Which I didn't show this Pokedex off before, like if it's not seen, it's just like a question mark with a circle on a circle. <laughs> yeah. So we've seen all these Pokemon. That's pretty cool. So far we've seen all these Pokemon. And we'll probably see more as our adventure goes by, okay, yeah. Uh, we have, it, it's, it starts with Trico and ends with Hoisey right now at least, cool. So I've, I, I haven't caught 80, 80 of the Pokemon I've seen, basically. So yeah, um, let's switch Pokemon though. Let's switch Metroid, Metroid, <laughs> Met, Met, uh, Metroid, I guess that's how you pronounce it, yeah. Let's switch with Geico, I guess, and then Metroid with, um, Fighter. Nice. Let's go in the department store. The Lake of Department Store. Wait, does this look give you an item or something? Today my mom is gonna buy me some new nice furniture. I'm guessing for your secret base. That's kind of cool. So I think the TMs and TMs are um maybe on this floor or the next floor. I can't remember. It's been a while. All oh, these are just X items. What's on the left? What does the left cashier sell? Okay, we can also sell the uh, oh vitamins. Cool, but they're very expensive. <laughs> Awesome. I won't go. I won't really buy any vitamins from the store. I just I'll find the vitamins I find just throughout my adventure. As just items on the field. So let's see. Um, buy. Uh, negates all damage but may fall in succession. Prevents stress. I don't think this is the only one actually. Yeah. Okay. I think this is like reflect and stuff and barrier and stuff like that. But this one should be the offensive TMs. So TMs are there. Ball fire attack that might be that might burn the foe. Um, yeah, that's, um, I think that's Fire Boss right there. And this is Thunder. This one's, uh, Blizzard. And this one's, uh, this one's Hyper Beam. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy Hyper Beam for, uh, one Hyper Beam TM. I'm gonna buy one Fire Boss TM because I actually wanna teach Fire Boss to Torkoal. So yeah. So that is good, actually. I forgot that I need to also, you know, uh, buy a... Uh, TM for Fire Blast for Torkoal. So let's teach it. Oh, I forgot to sell my Nugget here. I'll do that real quick. So I want to sell Nugget. Nice. Get 5,000 Pocket Dollars back. Awesome. Or get 5,000 Pocket Dollars for selling the Nugget to them. Yeah, let's make our way back down the department store. And then after we get outside the department store, I'll teach the TMs to the uh, to the Pokemon that I'm teaching the TMs to. You know, uh, um, Metroid and, uh, Smoky, yeah. Let's got our TM case, or TM's pocket, TM's and HM's. Fire Blast, let's teach it to uh, Smoky, of course. Smoky's the one who actually won it, so yeah. Smoky wants to win Fire Blast, let me Fire Blast. However, Smoky already has four moves. Should move be deleted and replace the Fire Blast? Yes. Um, which we should be figure out then. Let's get rid of, um, let's get rid of Ember. 
So I think his final moveset is Flamethrower, Body Slam, Overheat, and Fire Blast. So yeah, let's go to Ember. One, two, and poof. Smokey figured out how to use Ember. And Smokey learned Fire Blast. Cool. And yeah, Team 15 Hyper Beam right here. We're going to teach that to uh, Metroid. Yeah, to check Hyper Beam to Pokemon, of course. Let's teach it to Metroid. Metroid wants to learn Hyper Beam. Um, the, uh, however, Metroid knows already knows full moves, so the move be deleted and replaced with Hyper Beam. Yes, which move should be forgotten. So, uh, Tentacool's final move today is going to be Sludge Bomb, Hyper Beam, Ice Beam, and Surf. So I'm gonna have to give it a Bulb Beam. Yeah. So that means that I think Metroid's also at reached the final move set. Nice. Yeah, Metroid learned Hyper Beam. Nice. Um. Yeah, we're good. Let's go over here next. I think this is the move deleter's house. If you talk to this guy. Yeah, oh yes, I'm the move deleter. I can make Pokemon forget their moves, even HM moves. Would you like me to do that? No. Come again if you have any other moves you want to be forgotten. So in case you actually taught like Flash to your main metric or something, and you want to get rid of Flash since it's an HM, you can't really get rid of it. Only You can only really get rid of it if you talk to the move deleter. So talk to him and he'll uh, help, him help uh, your main metric in this case uh, forget the move. Flash. Yeah. Foo -foo -foo -foo. We moved our uh, loot into our secret hideout today. Who who are you? I'm just talking to myself. So obviously there's Team Magma Grants here, and Team Magma's here obviously as a team, of course. This guy will give you the Team 44 rest. Huh, what what's that? I'm not awake yet, you can have this. It's Team 44 rest. Yeah. Yeah. Yawn. Sleep is essential for good health. Sleep and regain health. That's actually what it does. <laughs> it makes your Pokemon fall asleep, but it helps it steals any status condition like burn, paralysis, sleep. Uh well burn paralysis and yeah, confusion I guess maybe. But if it's asleep, it's already asleep and it has to wake up to use rest anyway. So is there any hidden items in these rocks over here? What about this rock? Yeah, there's heart skill. So we have two heart skills now, that's awesome. Nice. There's an item over there, nice. Let's get it. Let's go back around and get it. Oh, here's a Pokeball. Awesome. Another hit item. Cool. And then... I am just want to check all the rocks. So, hey, look, there's Wilmers. There, Wilmer. Wait, but out of the water now. Huh? What do you want? You're messing up our training, so can you, like, get lost? Okay, fine. I'll get lost, but I'll get lost alone. I'm t <laughs> that doesn't help me, kids. Oh, PP pee, pee up. Nice. So, it's very worth checking all these rocks, apparently, in case there's, uh, you know, uh, hidden items. Now if you go in their hideout, which you saw the entrance right there to the right, um, yeah, they're gonna have Team Magma Grunts blocked, block, blocking your view, blocking your way, so yeah. What, 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 what do you want with Team Magma? Our boss is in here. He's gone off to his, it's not something important. Where'd he go? What if, oh, haha, don't you really think, okay, whatever. I missed, I just skipped to the last part of his dialogue. What, 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 what <laughs> do you think with, what do you want with Team Magma? Uh, okay, so that's the same thing. Pretty much the same thing, I'm pretty sure. Cool. So we can't actually go into the hideout just yet. We actually have to stop the Mount Pyre. If you remember, I think in the last part, uh, you saw that we thought it was three team rocket. Team rocket, no. Okay, that was a tentacle. But I was gonna say I was correcting myself or trying to correct myself when I said Team Rocket. I meant to say Team Magma. But yeah, we have to go, um, we saw those three Team Magma Grants, and they were like, say, let's go to Mount Pio, let's move out. So that's where I have to go next, actually. But I wanted to get to Lily Cove City just so we could fly back here if we needed to, after we get through Mount Pyre. And there's actually a route south of Mount Pyre that we can explore. That's an important TM called, uh, I think Giga Drain, I can't remember the number exactly, I think it was like TM, I can't remember the TM number, but I think it was like 39 or something, Giga Drain if I were to guess. And we were to teach that to, um, we were teaching that to Geico, actually. So, uh, we're in good shape with health and stuff, so I don't think we have to actually go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. So that's good. So, uh, yeah. Let's, let's put another Pell on, though. I don't want to run into any more wild Pokemon, really. So, let's just do that. We have one heart scale. Okay, cool. Super Pell's, we have 21 after this. Cool. So, off to Mount Pyre we go. Also, I want to show off the Safari Zone first, because I promised I'd do that in this part. <laughs> so, let's take on the Safari Zone. Okay. Okay, welcome to the Safari Zone. All you can catch for is 500 Poker Dollars. Would you like to play this Safari game? Sure, why not? 
that would be 500 Pokedex, but we see your Safari Balls. We get 30 Safari Balls, and we need special Pokeballs here, which are Safari Balls. So yeah, we'll let you know when your game is over. So until then, just enjoy yourself, please. And off you go to the Wild Excursion. Excursion. I believe that was the last word set that said that they said. So is there a hidden item in the rock right here? Nope, there isn't, of course. I don't really want to... I'm, I'm trying to look for cool items here. I should have brought my Acro Bike here, because that's a Acro Bike puzzle right there. I haven't done any Acro Bike puzzles yet. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. Okay, yeah, there's a little house there, but I'm not going to waste my time going in there. I'm just checking these rocks, because I'm really curious if there's any hidden items on them, but I guess not. It's good to check them all, just to make sure, though. Perfect off, cool. I want to find at least one good item. Oh yeah, I think over here is a TM for Solar Beam. Which, uh, or the TM for Solar Beam somewhere in here. No, nope, of course not. I know it's in the first Safari Zone probably somewhere. So I'm going to try to find it. And we, we, I'll probably go through the Safari Zone a couple times. Yeah, here's the mock Bike. You need the mock Bike to do this part, yeah. Let's get off our mock Bike. I think this sword beam is somewhere around here. Hopefully, I'm probably gonna run out of steps because that. Well, it doesn't tell you how many steps you have left to shoot. It doesn't really. Wow. I'm gonna show you how many safari balls you have. So you run out of time by steps, amount of steps you take, or if you can run out of safari balls, then your game will be over. This is like getting my feet wet, like, you know, making, getting back into it, you know. I think it's the sword beam is right over here, actually. Hopefully, I don't run out of steps. But you know me, like, it could, ha it could happen, you know. Nice, okay. TM22 Solar Beam. Which, if I check my notes for my final movesets for my Pokemon, yes, I do want to teach Solar Beam to uh, Geico, so that's good. I want to check that hidden rock, but, uh, rock for hidden item, but I guess not. There's no hidden item there. So let's uh, teach uh, Solar Beam to uh, Geico. So TM22 Solar Beam. It's right here, awesome. Can you Solar Beam? Which we should be. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. We haven't got to that yet. Okay, guys, Geico's the only one, the only Pokemon on my team who can win, actually. Geico wants to win Solar Beam. However, Geico already knows four moves. Should we be deleting and replace with Solar Beam? Yes, which we should be forgotten. Let's get rid of, um. Let's get a Quick Attack, honestly. I don't think we need Quick Attack anymore. So, yeah. My final moveset for Geico is Dragon Claw, Leaf Blade, Solar Beam, and Giga Drain. So yeah, one, two, and poof. Geico forgot how to use a quick attack, and Geico and Soy Beam. Nice. That's good to know. Let's actually run into some more Pokemon now. Well, also we want to get some items, uh, whatever. So let's see what we got here. Here's a Rhyhorn. I think you have a better chance if you throw a rock at it. Oh, oh go near. See, I guess it's what they place with rock. Because I remember when Fire and Leaf Green, you could throw rocks at them and stuff. And even in Red Blue and Yellow, you probably could throw rocks at them. I don't have any Poke Blocks. Because, uh, I didn't make any Poke Blocks, but that's okay. That's like the bait, kind of. The like to bait. Uh, go near. Keep going to the Rhyhorn. Nice. Rhyhorn is watching carefully. So let's go for throw a Sapphire Ball at it. See if you can, you know, catch it. It'd be cool if we could. One, two, three. Oh, cool, we caught it, nice. It's a female Rhyhorn, level 27, awesome. Rhyhorn was caught. Rhyhorn's day was at the Pokédex, cool. Uh, Rhyhorn is 169 in the Pokédex, in the Hoenn Dex, I should say. Its name is Rhyhorn, it's a Spikes Pokémon, it's only 3 feet 3 inches tall. It weighs 253.5 pounds, though. It, um... It, uh... Its footprint kind of looks like a Lego. Like, if you look at it from the Lego from the front, uh, or one of the sides. It's kind of cool. Rhyhorn runs in a straight line, smashing everything in its path. It is, it is not bothered even if it rushes headlong into a block of steel. This Pokemon may feel some pain from the collision the next day, however. That's interesting. Giving it to Rhyhorn. Let's see, yeah, let's name this, uh, let's name this Rhyhorn. Well, it's a female Rhyhorn, and Rhyhorn starts with R. So let's name it Rebecca, because Rebecca is a girl name. Rebecca. Rebecca the Rhyhorn. Cool. Nice. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find. I think we can find Pikachu in here actually, which is pretty cool. Oh, Gloom, nice. It's level 29. Let's go near it. But hopefully it doesn't run away. Let's watch it carefully. Okay, cool. Let's go for the Survival Ball then. So this is Gloom is female, level 29. Nice. One, two, three. We caught it. Awesome. Gloom was caught. Nice. Gloom's data was out of the Pokedex. Gloom is, uh, 
number 89 in the uh, in the Hone Dex, and its name is Glim. It's a weed Pokemon. It's only two feet seven inches tall. It weighs only 19 pounds. It uh, footprint kind of looks like a jelly bean or just like a bean in general. I don't know. Gloom releases a full fragrance from its pi uh, pistol of its flower. Um, when faced with danger, the stench worsens. If this Pokemon is feeling calm and secure, it does not release its usual st stinky aroma. Okay, that's interesting. Um, let's name this Gloom. Uh, good, good stink. If that does that fit, good stink. Let's see if it fits. Looks like it does. It'll just fit. Good stink. Good stink was sent to the PC. Okay, cool. I, I hope I was supposed to stink right. I think I did. S T I N K is what I meant to type in. I think I did type that in, so that's good. These little machines that are like that you saw that were kind of gray and silver. That's actually where you can put Pokeballs in. You can put Pokeballs in them, and it'll track Pokemon. So I guess it doesn't waste your steps just running around in the tall grass. So I thought that was pretty cool. I already have a Rhyhorn, right so I'm just gonna run. Yeah, I already called it right home, I should say. In the Safari Zone. So I'd be cool to run into Pikachu just try to catch it, you know? Oh, another Gloom, okay. We might want to go to a different area and try to see if we can find a new Pokemon. Or I can uh, go in the water, actually. That's actually a good idea. Let's go in the water and see if we can find a new Pokemon. I wonder if we use like a good rod, too. Let's use a good rod. So let's see. Um, Key items, key items, key items. There we go. Um... I'll put my good one on register for right now. I'll put my mock bike back on register after the Safari Zone. So yeah. I don't have a super rod yet because I don't get that to Moss Deep City. And that's where we get a 7th gym badge. That's the next city with gym badge at least. So that's good. Oh, but yes, cool. We, we fish on, fish on. There we go, Pokemon is on the hook, awesome. Let's see what it is. It's, oh, of course it's a Magikarp, but we haven't caught one actually, so... We want to just throw Pokeball at it, or not even a Pokeball Safari Ball. Yeah, this, one's, this Magikarp's male on level 11. 1, 2, 3, and we caught it, yay. Gotcha, Magikarp was caught. Nice. Magikarp stay was out of the Pokedex, awesome. Magikarp is down to uh, number 100, not 100, but 52 in the whole index. It's Magikarp, of course, it's a fish Pokemon. It's, for this fish, it, its height is 2 feet 11 inches. That's actually kind of in, impressive. It weighs exactly 22 pounds. Magikarp is a path pathetic use excuse for a Pokemon that is only capable of flopping and splashing. Well, I can also use Tackle and Flail when it levels up to higher levels. But yeah, this uh, behavior prompted scientists to undertake research into it. Interesting. Let's name this, uh, Magikarp. Let's name it The Fish. Heh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. The Fish. The Fish is a good nickname. Well, not really, it's a bad nickname, but still. The Fish. The Fish was sent to the PC. Let's try to find a different Pokemon using the good rod. Other than Magikarp, that'd be nice. Okay, I'm gonna move a little bit. There we go, nice. Okay, let's see here. Nope, not even a nibble. Not even a nibble, of course. Oh, bite, yes. Okay, fish on, fish on. A Pokemon's. Okay, it only took two of those, so maybe it's another Magikarp. I'm hoping not. Oh, it's a Golden Nice. That's always better than Magikarp. So let's go near. Let's swim near that uh, Golden. Swim in the water, basically. Let's go for the Sapphire Ball then. This Golden is level 24 in male. So that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, man, Demon Shake once. Okay, Dino's watching carefully. We gotta try to catch this thing before it, you know, swims away. One, two, three. Yes, I liked my joke before it swims away. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a terrible joke. I'm sorry. Goldeen's data was out of the Pokedex. Okay, Goldeen is the Goldfish Pokemon. It's number it's number 50. Why well, am I saying 100? 50 in the whole index. It's height, it, it's 2 feet tall and it weighs 33.1 pounds. Goldeen is a very beautiful Pokemon with fins and that fins that billow elegantly in the water. However, don't let your guard down uh, around this Pokemon. You can ram your pathway with its horn. I remember the episode of the anime in the Indigo Plateau Season 1 Pokemon. Ash's Pikachu got really hurt by a Goldeen's horn. You know, to get super potion on the market. And that was a Squirtle Squad episode. So I'm, I'm guessing that's why the 
episode did not get banned because like you know they've they've like um banned episodes where like you know uh ashes point ash, where people point gun a gun at ash's face but in that episode in the um, when he went to the mart in town there are three Pokemon that had like uh, not three Pokemon, but three human, three adults kind of, three older people that were probably adults that had rifles and they were just sh pointing at him. Those were three guns pointing at his face. But I guess since uh, it was a Squirtle Squad episode, and this episode Ash got Squirtle, which who's an iconic member of a, you know, the one of the Pokemon that Ash has got through the years. You know, of course they're not gonna ban that episode. It makes sense not to. But still, three guns pointed at his face compared to, you know, in the in the Safari Zone, I think they banned that episode because a gun was pointed at, one gun was pointed at Asher's face. So, I don't know, it's whatever. But it makes sense why they didn't ban it, I guess. Yeah, okay. Um, what's the name of you, Goldfish? Because you're a goldfish, technically, Goldine. Goldfish. And I'll make it one word. Hopefully that's right. I hope it goes fish is just one word, I'm hoping. Goldfish, okay, yeah. Goldfish was sent to the PC. Now let's just start running into Pokemon just on on the water with Surf. So yeah. Ooh, a Psyduck, nice. Let's swim near that Psyduck. It's level 25 and female. We cut close to the Psyduck more, so we swam close, we swam close to the Psyduck. No, I meant I didn't mean to go near again. Shoot. Okay, good, you watch it carefully. Okay, let's use this fireball now, before it runs away. One, two, three. Oh, we caught it. Awesome. Gotcha. Psyduck was caught. Nice. Psyduck's, uh, dude was out of the Pokedex. Awesome. Psyduck is the duck Pokemon. It's 150, it's 158 in the Hone Dex. It weighs, it's 2 feet 7 inches tall. It's, uh, it weighs 43.2 pounds. It's, um, it, it's footprint actually just looks like a duck footprint, really. Psyduck uses a mysterious power when it does so. This Pokemon generates brainwaves that are supposedly only seen in sleepers. This discovery spurred controversy among, among, among scholars. Interesting. Um, what's the name of this, uh, Psyduck Yellow because it's yellow. <laughs> the color yellow. Yeah, yellow. Nice. Yellow was sent to the PC. Oh no, ding dong, our time up is on, um, Manus Safari game is over. Well, I actually want, only wanted to get the TM for, uh, Solar Beam. Any other items, I know I'm missing out, but I really don't think I'll need them. So yeah, let's, um, let's put the heart scale on our, um, in our, um, PC real quick. Because I forgot to do that. I also put the mock bike back on register. So yeah, heart scale and PP up. Awesome, nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's check out our Pokemon. And, uh, when it's PC. Okay, with Pokemon. So we caught a Rhyhorn, a Gloom, a Magikarp, a Goldeen, and a Psyduck. Cool. It's pretty cool. Nice. So, yes, Skycrest up front. Nice. The last thing I'm gonna do is I always get to Mount Pyre, and then the next part will take on Mount Pyre and Team Magma and whatnot. There's actually trainers you can also fight in Mount Pyre, and there's also a TM I want to get for uh, for um Twitch, yeah. So let's use a Super Repel, I guess, because I think I repel will off. Yeah, we have 20 Super Repels after this. That's not that bad, actually. 20 is a good number. To still have for Super Repels, and let's uh, use Surf. Okay, the, these tentacles could be like level 35 though, and it could still not repel off of that Pokemon, you know? So, don't always think you're always gonna repel Pokemon out in the water, cause like, if you surf on like, riverbanks and s the sea kinda, there's always gonna be tentacles that probably be at least level 35 at the highest or something like that. So yeah, here's Mount Pyre. So let's talk to you. Did you come to pray for your respects to the spirits of the departed Pokemon? You must care for your Pokemon a lot. Actually, I came here to stop you, Magma, but I'll agree, I'll agree with you guys. This is my final resting place for my Zigzag, and I cherish it. Oh man! So if you want to go up, that's where the um, normal trainers are. But if you, you have to go outside right here with the where you see the rug, and that's where Team Mag Team Magma is gonna be. So yeah. So there's tall grass right here. I think the new Pokemon, you, uh, one of the new Pokemon you can catch here, a Trimeco, which is kind of rare actually. I think that's like one percent chance, maybe five percent chance of appearing, and then Vulpix too. Oh, who's Team 48? I think, I forget what Team 48 is. I think it may be Snatch or something. Let me just double check. 
Because, you know, Team 4 6 is Thief, so I think those TMs are like close to each other because they're similar or do like an S, do like an unfair thing or something. A uh, skill swap, okay. Switch his abilities with the foes on the turn it is used. Well, this is a good ability, this is a good TM to teach your slacking when you have a slacking because, you know, you can switch abilities so you don't, you can actually attack every turn. I mean, that's actually a really good move to teach slacking in my opinion if you can learn it. I'm pretty sure you can learn it, I think it's like an normal type move. So yeah. Nice. Up here is some flowers and stuff. I think there's also an ultra ball you can get, but it's like hidden on a tombstone. Which don't ask me why that's on it's hidden on a tombstone. Yeah, it got all foggy up here. Um there's like a mist or something, I can't really explain it. But it's harder to see I guess a little bit. Uh super po off, so let's just put another po on just for the heck of it. Nice, okay. Here's a max ether, we'll put that on the PC. Just to, just to stash it away for later. And up here should be an ultra ball in this tombstone. Yes, there's an ultra ball. One ultra ball, nice. We found one ultra ball. Cool. And Team Magma is up here. I think you can check those tombstones right there. Right here, and maybe there'll be hidden items. I don't want to take the time to check them all, but you can if you want. I'm pretty sure there might be at least one hidden item there. At least worth your troubles if you look, you know. So Team Magma is here. So yeah, we'll take them on the next part, hopefully stop them. So yeah, this has been Janko again. I'm at the Vichy Gang Goodbye, and I'll see you guys next part my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walkthrough Guide.